Yo, what up? Saturday, February 18th, coming at you with a shoe that I wanted for a minute. Um, yes, as you can see, the Armand Meunier 3s. I've been wanting these for a hot minute. Um, got these uh, in the mail today. Um, did a quick transaction on Facebook. Um, yeah, just picked them up. Well, not picked them up, but they got delivered to me. I was actually waiting to see if I was going to get the Cardinal 3s. Um, I struck out on those. And I'm like, you know what? I know I had these coming in the way. And these are so much better. Um, yeah, so I'm on year 3s. Wanted to show you guys my pickup. Uh, I got it from a Facebook seller. Um, he's pretty, pretty, pretty known out there, uh, at least in the New York metro area. And I got these for like, I don't know if you want to call it a steal. Maybe it's a steal. So let me just give some context on this pair. This shoe, as you can see, is slightly worn. Actually, he said worn one time. Okay. He worn one time. Um, you can see a little crease there. That don't bother me. It is what it is. These are going to crease up regardless. Um, let's take a look on the underbelly. So, yeah, worn one time. I actually cleaned them up a little bit. I cleaned these up. So basically, based off the condition, I want you to think what I paid was fair. So you can see it's pretty much 100% stars, right? Um, there was some like some shit on the shoe. I don't know what it was. It looked like something sticky. It was like around this area here. I got most of it off. Still a little bit there. I was trying to acetone it. I think I'm going to acetone it with some Q-tips instead of cotton balls because I don't want to damage the paint. Um, but I got most of it off. It's pretty clean. Worn once. OG all. We're talking about the lid. Well, whatever this thing is. The casing. The lid. The box. The paper. The laces. Um, and whatever shebangs it comes with. Yeah. A little keychain or this joint, which is cool. But that's staying in the box. Some tags. Whatever. Laces. Lace bag. So, yeah. That was... Hold on a second. This is the shoe with the cream lace. I think I was showing it. Yeah. All right. So that's that shoe. And then this shoe. And the only thing is because I guess it's the way that the shoes are made. This tongue kind of flares out a bit like that. But I'm sure when I wear it, it will whatever. Um, yeah. This shoe is the right shoe. I'll show you this one right here. Um, again, as you can see, there was some stuff on it. I got most of it off. Um, mm, I acetoned it a little bit. There was some like, I don't know, it looked like maybe he stepped on something, some glue. Well, not glue, but like maybe, I don't know what he stepped on, but it was something sticky. It was very tacky. It wasn't shit. Thank God. Um, yeah. So these are one, one time. What do you guys think? Um, oh, by the way, what do you guys think in terms of lace? I like both. I'll be honest with you, I thought I'd be a fan more of these, maybe because of the way I had laced them up, they don't look all that great, but um, what do you guys prefer? I know this kind of matches with the missile. So I don't know, this is a little too yellow for my liking. I do have some oatmeal, not oatmeal, some cream colored laces. I think they will look good with this. I have some cream laces from Foxtrot. I haven't. I think I might have to cop a pair for this shoe for Fo from Foxtrot. Um, the white looks clean. I don't like the actual texture of the lace. But it's still clean. It looks very clean. Um, very clean, clean, clean. Uh, you got the Amam in your logo. In this one, you have the uh, Jumpman. I actually have a sh shoe treat on that one because that was the one I was cleaning. You got like some burgundy maroon. I don't say maroon, but like a wine color gut on the insole. Um, yo, dope, 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 dope sneaker. Love the quality. I think I'm going to rest for a while. I don't think I'm going to cop anything for a hot minute. I got another shoe coming in, a dunk from 2011 uh, to kind of try to complete my series, my college dunk collection series, the Be True to Your School. But yeah, I spent a, a decent amount on these. Um, what do you guys think I paid? Um, all right, I'm going to tell you. And you tell me if you think it's a fair price. And I, th I think it's a fair price for one one time. Um, I paid six fifty shipped. What do you guys think? Six fifty shipped one once. OG all pretty much passes dead stock almost, almost. 
I gotta take this stuff out. I don't know what this stuff is on. See, there was some stuff on this portion of the shoe and I was acetoning it to kind of get it off. It came off, but now I left the residue. It was like tackiness from the back of a, like the adhesive, that's what it was, adhesive. Um, looked like maybe he stepped on some kind of label that had adhesive on the other side or something that had adhesive. It was very sticky and it looked like he just kind of walked over whatever it was and then it had like dirt. Uh, onto the adhesive that was stuck onto the grooves of the, the the outsole, but yeah, nonetheless, listen, I don't know. I'm thinking about putting some sole protectors on here, so I don't wear the stars out. So in case I need to, if I want to trade or sell, they're gonna be in you know near pristine condition. The uppers are dope, no flaws, other than this little waggy tongue here. But other than that, you got a small little crease, and that could have been just a factory floor crease. You know, like how they come out the factory, but again, worn one time, so I could assume that he, you know, did that. Definitely not gonna iron that out because it's gonna take the tumble if you do iron it out. Um, dope freaking sneaker, yo. I'm just happy to have this and happy to show you guys what I got. Um, these are fucking fly. I think I'm gonna rock them today. I'm so like, I wanna wear them, but I'm like, yo, should I get some protectors? The last time I felt this excited about a shoe was when I copped my Turtle Dove uh, 350 V1. Like, which I still have, and I paid seven for those maybe, I don't know, two years after release, which was pretty decent price because at that time they were going for over a thousand, brand new. I got them for 700 OGO used, and that was the start of my 350 V1 collection. I got all four of them from that collection, and um, I may have copped a couple of V2s I eventually got rid of over time. I still have my V1s, don't have many Yeezys, but anyway, it's not about Yeezys, it's about the Am um, Amanier um, 3s. Now, this is motivate, motivating me to get the, uh, uh, what is that? The uh, Am um, Amanier um, 1, which is cool. I like it. It's dope. But I wanted to get these first before I got those. Just so I could say, you know what? At least I have these. I don't have to get those. But now looking at these to complete the collection, because it looks like there's a 2 that's coming out. And so I think I'm going to have to get the 1. And the 1, I don't think, is going for crazy prices right now at this point. Uh, I, I think I can snag a pair for 350 400 hopefully new. Um, I would like to get them new. And then the 2 is coming out. I don't know when the 2 is coming out. The 2 looks pretty dope. Not a fan of 2s, but the design, uh, how can I say this? The the silhouette is alright. It's cool. I've had a pair of 2s in the past. I had a couple pairs of 2s. The, the design, the colorway, I think, is what really brings out the, the shoe. And it, that happens, you know, you have a busted looking ugly shoe and then you got a colorway that that makes it shine, you know. I'm um, trying to think off the top of my head, a shoe that's like that. Um, I can't really think off the top of my head, but I'm sure you guys could think about that. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, I'm a money at three, solid sneaker. Oh, you know what? This is such a dope sneaker, you know, I'm so happy to get it. Made my Saturday, um, made my week. Um, once I was able to make the sale, it was a little iffy in the transaction. Um, because it was a uh, Zell. I don't really Zell people that I don't know, but apparently this guy's really trusted and he deals with a lot of high priced items. I'm talking about like, like Paris SB dunks, like Iron Maiden SBs, like, yeah. So this is like nothing compared to like the inventory he has. So, you know, he's got Rolexes for like a hundred G. Yeah. So this is just a dime in the pocket for him. But for me, it's just like, yo, I'm giving you, here you go. I guess I'll give it, I'll get it when I get it. Right. That's that kind of, that's how I look at it. But in any case, he came through, uh, shouted him out. Dope fucking, dope, dope, dope pair of sneakers. And this is my Saturday. This is what it's looking like. Clean them up. You know what? I'm going to throw these bitches on feet. And um, not in this video, but I'm going to throw them on feet for today. I don't have anywhere to go. I'm just going to throw them on just to throw them on. So it's your boy, Steak Sauce, with a pickup. I'm on my near Jordan 3s. Let me know if you like the cream or you like the white laces. Definitely let me know. Hit me up. Let it let it be known in the comment section. It's your boy and I'm out of here. Peace.